In today's episode, you will learn how to use HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor with Arduino and control an LED depending on a predefined certain distance value. This tutorial covers the extreme basics. Number one, ultrasonic sensor pinouts. Number two, circuit diagram. Number three, it's interfacing with Arduino. Number four, programming. And finally, number five, testing. Let's get started. The components that we will need for this project are number one, Arduino. Number two, HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. As you can see, the male headers are clearly labeled with VCC, trigger, echo and ground. Number three, male to female type jumper wires. Number four, 330 ohm resistor and finally, number five, LED light emitting diode. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. As you can see, the ultrasonic sensor VCC pin is connected with the Arduino's 5V. The trigger pin is connected with pin number 4. The echo pin is connected with pin number 2. And the ground pin is connected with the Arduino's ground. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. I have a very detailed tutorial on LED and how to calculate the current limiting resistor value. The link is given in the description. The resistor is connected with pin number 13 while the cathode side of the LED is connected with the ground. Connect the orange wire with the VCC. Connect a blue wire with the trigger pin. Connect a green wire with the echo pin. Connect a black wire with the ground pin. Now connect the orange wire with the VCC. Connect the black wire with the ground. Connect the blue wire with the pin number 4. Connect the green wire with pin number 2. I also connected an LD with pin number 13 through a 330 ohm resistor. The Arduino is powered up. Now let's discuss the programming. First of all, we start by creating variables for the trigger pin, echo pin and buzzer. Instead of a buzzer, I'm using an LED. If you want, you can replace this LED with a buzzer or a relay, etc. H define trigger pin 4. The trigger pin of the ultrasonic sensor is connected with digital pin 4 is explained in the circuit diagram. H define echo pin 2. H define buzzer 13. As you know, my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions, which are the white setup and white loop functions. White means that this function is not returning any value, and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Serial dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication. 9600 is the baud rate. Pin mode trigger pin output sets the trigger pin as output. Pin mode echo pin input sets the echo pin as input. Pin mode buzzer output sets the buzzer as output. Digital write buzzer low. Then starts a while loop function. Integer duration and distance. The duration variable saves the time between the emission and reception of the signal. Then we simply sense a high pulse. Then a delay of 1000 microseconds and then turn off the trigger pin. Duration is equal to pulse in, echo pin high. We read the signal from the sensor, a high pulse whose duration is the time in microseconds from the sending of the signal to the 
reception of its echo to an object. Finally, we just need to convert the duration to a distance. We can calculate the distance by using the following formula. Distance is equal to duration divided by 2 and then divided by 29.1. This formula will give us the distance in centimeters. Then we use some if conditions to control an LED. This program can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description. Now let's upload this program. First of all, make sure that the right board is selected and the right COM port is selected and then click on the Upload button. As you can see, when the distance is less than 30 cm, the LED turns on. And when the distance is greater than 30 cm, the LED turns off. This is how you can detect an object and control an LED or a buzzer. In my upcoming tutorials, I will use this ultrasonic sensor in some complex projects. So that's it for now. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.